Item Number SCP-1548 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures Foundation satellites Malik Bell 1 through 10 will monitor the south pole of the sun for SCP-1548. Under Protocol Koyash Ver, all Foundation space stations and off-planet bases within the solar system will have the monitoring of the sun as their secondary mission objective. Connections will be maintained with major space agencies under Operation Stygian Iris for enhanced monitoring of the anomaly, with accurate information on the phenomena restricted to specified personnel. As it is not feasible to place limitations on all solar telescopes, it is expected that civilians will observe SCP-1548 on occasion. Foundation personnel embedded in scientific agencies will disseminate misleading information on SCP-1548 and all thaumaturgic symbols that manifest, describing them as unusual but natural phenomena. All other information of the anomaly and related symbols is subject to standard Foundation censorship protocols. Description SCP-1548 is the designation of various anomalous solar phenomena, primarily occurring at the south pole of the Sun. There are three types of known SCP-1548 events. SCP-1548-1 Six equidistant ovular sunspots approximately 40,000 by 15,000 kilometers in size appear. The ends of the sunspots converge after 23 hours, often accompanied with the formation of a solar prominence that typically takes the shape of thaumaturgic symbols. Footnote 1. A solar prominence is a large gaseous feature that extends off the sun's surface, normally forming a loop shape. A coronal mass ejection will then occur around the sunspots, lasting 11 hours, with the prominence dissipating after 5 hours. SCP-1548-2 begins similarly to SCP-1548-1. A solar prominence then forms from the site of the sunspots and breaks off from the sun, moving away from it and likely entering interstellar space. The event lasts for two hours. SCP-1548-3 Sunspots form thaumaturgical symbols, which range in size. This can occur in conjunction with other events or separately. Unlike the previous two phenomena, these sunspots do not commonly manifest in any single area. The first recorded SCP-1548 event was on May 17, 1983, where an SCP-1548-3 event was observed, showing thaumaturgic symbol 2201v1, referred to Addendum 1. This event was classified as Extranormal Event 9008, until similar occurrences were observed leading to the classification of SCP-1548. Addendum 1 Thaumaturgical Symbol Identification The Department of Thaumaturgy has successfully identified and determined the nature of several symbols seen in SCP-1548. Below is a list of the symbols, denoted with V if they are a variation of the symbol. V1 denotes the original or first discovered version of the symbol. TS-2201 V1 Unnamed, only seen in SCP-1548. If inscribed on any telescopic device by a person with thaumaturgic abilities, the device will show psionic entities with malicious intent toward the user. After a total of four hours of use, users without psionic abilities will experience symptoms of psychosis. TS-381 V2, known as the Caliphastian Isle among various occultist groups. When affixed or projected onto a material, it will strengthen the material, enhancing its ability to absorb kinetic and electromagnetic energy. Materials may be hidden from sight as well. TS-1817 V7 Known as the Twelve Holy Owls of Serenithium, origin among humans unknown. When the symbol is affixed to a weapon or object used with the intent to harm, any entity killed by the weapon will annihilate the immediate space around it. The size of the annihilation zone is proportional to the size of the entity killed. This annihilation zone has no effect on materials reinforced with TS-381. Of note is 61% of observed thaumaturgic symbols pertain to the anomalous Arothan mythology and religious beliefs. Footnote 2 
The central aspects of Arothan mythology are that the universe is the second universe to exist, and that it has been protected from extra-universal invasions by seven guardian deities. Only one of these deities, Rakmo Lusin, the Holy Fourth, is said to be alive in the present day. TS-1817 originates from Arothan occultists in the 1800s, and TS-381 has been used by members of the Church of the Second Hytoth, a prominent Arothan group of interest, in avoiding capture by the Foundation. Why this is the case is unclear. Addendum 2 Event 1548-29 on December 23, 2016, several SCP-1548-1 events occurred in rapid succession. Although interpretation of these symbols is still underway, TS-381-V2, TS-1817-V7, and TS-2201-V1 manifested multiple times during these events. Twenty non-anomalous Orothan language symbols and phrases for protection formed as well. 47 hours later, five SCP-1548-2 events occurred in the span of two hours. Over the next month, a dense cloud of ionizing radiation began forming around the solar system, surrounding the heliopause. Footnote 3. The heliopause is a region surrounding the solar system where solar wind collides with interstellar wind, creating a bubble around the solar system known as the heliosphere. Although initially at largely unnoticeable amounts, the cloud increased in magnitude until no light from the outside universe could enter by January 20th, 2017. The origin of the cloud is presumed to be from the sequence of SCP-1548 events, though the combined amount of particles produced was too small to form a structure on this scale. Of note is that Foundation telescopes have noticed thomic tessellations resembling grids of pyramids, periodically forming along the cloud. Footnote 4. Tessellations. Patterns of grids of polygons formed when high amounts of thaumaturgic energy is released. As the night sky is now entirely altered, Foundation censorship protocols cannot be fully executed. The dissemination of incorrect scientific information regarding the solar system entering a dense cloud of cosmic dust is in progress. Scientific information describing the actual nature of the ionizing radiation cloud will be censored, as per contingency Galileo 2. Addendum 3. Recent Phenomena Following event 1548-29, a high amount of significant anomalous phenomena have occurred. The following is a list of these events, updated as of January 26, 2017. Date. December 24, 2016. Event Description The Falcon Light suddenly lost 50% of its mass during its flight to the ISS, causing the death of all crew. Footnote 5 The Falcon Light was a commercial spacecraft made and launched by aerospace company SpaceX. Foundation satellites captured video of the event, showing that half of the spacecraft disappeared along the midline, jettisoning any crew still inside into the Earth's atmosphere. Radio signals were received soon afterward from beyond the heliopause. Although suspected to originate from the other half of the spacecraft, the decoded signals match no known spoken or written language. Notes: All launch plans for manned spacecraft have been cancelled, both inside and outside the Foundation. A cover story involving a faulty booster has been disseminated. Date: December 29, 2016 Event Description the International Space Station ceased standard communications and began broadcasting visual and auditory cognito hazards. All subjects exposed to any of the cognito hazards enter a trance state and eventually have their brain vanish. Two hours after, Foundation satellites detect a sharp increase in thaumaturgic particles in orbit, all found to be originating from the Sun. The ISS abruptly changes trajectory to follow a course that will result in re-entry, certain to destroy the entire station, in February of 2017. Notes: Classification of the ISS as an anomaly is pending approval. Date: January 2, 2017. Event Description SCP-2713 was found to be entirely empty. Most of the interior of the building had been destroyed. Claw marks, scorched walls, and blood strewn across the room indicate signs of a significant struggle. Notes: Reclassification to neutralized is pending approval. 
Date, January 5th, 2017. Event Description During a political demonstration in front of the Reichstag in Berlin, Germany, a thaumaturgic way leading to an unknown pocket dimension opened near the protesters. Koru Archpriest Farah Antius, Church of the Second High Toth leader and known person of interest, exited and announced that a shelter had been built. Further information is limited, as all persons in the area promptly entered the way, including two undercover Foundation agents. The way closed immediately after. Notes: Censorship of the event is in progress. Date: January 10th, 2017 Event Description an unknown eigenweapon was activated during protests at Times Square. Footnote 6. An eigenweapon is an anomalous weapon of mass destruction. A violent explosion destroyed the entirety of Midtown Manhattan, leveling surrounding buildings and severely damaging other nearby areas within a 6km radius. The death toll is undetermined. A high number of Tartarian entities and demonic possessions have been observed in an 11 km radius around the blast's epicenter. Notes: Persons with confirmed connections to the Chaos Insurgency have publicly blamed the event on a global shadow organization. Date: January 19th, 2017. Event description: SCP-179 established contact for a single moment, signing "Defend." before descending below the sun's surface and vanishing. Notes: The frequency of SCP-1548 events has dramatically increased since this event, with at least two occurring per day. Date: January 20th, 2017 Event Description The radiation cloud fully obscures the night sky. Global amnestization under the Ennui Protocol is enacted by the Foundation and completed at 78% efficiency. Several paramilitary organizations, which includes world governments and anomalous groups, take this opportunity to attempt to further their own personal goals. Notes: Joint Foundation and Global Occult Coalition forces have been assembled to combat these groups. Efforts are ongoing. Date: January 22, 2017. Event Description SCP-2821, following a sudden expansion in size to a diameter of 1.7 kilometers, vanished. The nearby Lunar Area 32 suffered a minimum of 38 casualties, and lost 10 anomalies from the expansion enveloping and destroying sections of the facility under the anomaly's different laws of physics. Based on readings from Minkowski space-time monitors, it is hypothesized that SCP-2821 formed a wormhole, leading to another region of the universe. Notes: Misinformation to explain the newly formed hemispherical crater on the lunar surface is being disseminated. Date: January 25, 2017. Event description: Experimental Foundation devices began detecting tachyons moving at undetermined faster-than-light speeds. Analysis found that these are likely a new form of SCP-3417 transmission, though with major deviations from their standard contents. Footnote 7. Transmission contents have typically contained mentions of extraterrestrial civilizations and Arothan mythological stories. This was observed until being abruptly cut off, presumably due to the radiation cloud. Notes. Further information is below. Date. January 30th, 2017. Event description. Currently under review. Notes. Not applicable. Transmission 3417-62 Begin Log All Autotans here. All Autotans must listen now. Stars lost. Ago, the first invasion occurred. The gods were unprepared, never comprehending the fragility of the universe after its creation. Lost. The extra-universal abominations invaded, and the gods did not die. Their duty in protecting existence 
transmission interference for one minute. Would not have won without the Autotans. Lost. The guards defended Autotans and existence. Autotans defended the guards and existence. Lost. When united, we are strong. Transmission interference for 25 minutes. Lost. The worlds must fight. The transmission stops. End log. Joint Foundation and Global Occult Coalition forces have been mobilized for large-scale containment and threat neutralization operations. Cooperation with various governments to assist in cover-ups has begun, though these measures are hindered by the decisions of the Latvian, Estonian, and Georgian governments in declassifying documents on anomalous phenomena and Cold War paratech. All major containment sites are now under Level 5 high-security lockdown until further notice. Addendum 4, Experiment 2154-37 On June 12, 1999, it was determined by a unanimous O5 vote to enact a long-term plan to explore beyond the heliopause. Mission objectives were to confirm or deny hypotheses regarding extraterrestrial SCP objects and collect data on anomalous phenomena beyond the heliopause. As such, the Foundation probe Seraph-1 was constructed, then successfully launched on May 9, 2000. On January 27, 2017, an SCP-1548-1 event was initiated prior to Seraph-1 reaching the heliopause, forming the thaumaturgic symbols used in predicting the future. Following the SCP-1548-1 event, an SCP-1548-2 event was initiated and launched. This one, however, deviated significantly from normal trajectories and curved sharply about 100 astronomical units away from the Sun towards Seraph-1. Seraph-1 crossed the heliosphere two days before contact was lost from the intense radiation inside of the solar prominence. All information collected by Seraph-1 is currently under review and pending declassification. Displaying file 1 out of 6. Record of Decision. Overseer Council Action 2521. Knock 6. Motion as follows. End Veil Protocol under Contingency Uncloak 3. Yay. 05-1-3-8-10-13-1. Nay. 05-2-4-5-7-12-13-14-15-16-17-18-19-20-21-22-23-24-25-26-27-28-29-30-31-32-33-34-35-36-37-38-39-40-41-42-43-44-45-46-47-48-49-50-51-52-53-54-55-56-
Many pieces of equipment were disabled by the radiation, though a rear camera continued to be operable. Behind Seraph 1 are masses of high energy radiation that resemble solar flares, encompassing the entire visible section of the heliosphere as a barrier. Thousands of thaumaturgic symbols are present in these flares, most unidentified. Identified symbols serve to provide various forms of camouflage, the largest being warding sigils used in the Orothan religion to repel extra universal entities. At the approximate location where Seraph 1 exited, a large hole is forming, with the flares dissipating at its edges as it expands. Footnote 8 Observation by Foundation Telescope spotted a corresponding hole and distorted thomic tessellation patterns at the region of the solar system where Seraph 1 passed the heliosphere. Swarms of entities can be seen in the distance surrounding the heliopause. The bodies of each entity are highly asymmetrical and possess numerous appendages and unknown structures. The only common features are a grey body coloration, segments that erratically flash various colors, and fractal structures. Sizes are estimated to range from 10 kilometers to 10,000 kilometers, though some appear to be significantly larger on unknown scales. Two of these entities, hereafter 1548 Omega 1 and 1548 Omega 2, pass by Seraph 1. 1548 Omega 1 is eel like in shape with five arms extending from random sections of its body, along with a mouth made of impossible geometric structures. The end of its body is surrounded by arachnid limbs and frequently flickers into being translucent. 1548 Omega-2 is an oscillating and contorting tetrahedral object, leaving trails of black rocks that rapidly disintegrate. As the entities near the hole, the warding sigils glow red causing red shockwaves to appear around each one, significantly slowing their speed. 1548 Omega-2 unfolds its body and releases glowing white orbs, which reach the sigils and expand into spiral patterns. The sigils demanifest and the shockwaves lessen in luminosity. 1548 Omega-1 passes through the hole and accelerates out of Seraph 1's view. High amounts of thaumaturgic particles are detected, and the hole is rapidly enveloped by solar flares. Hundreds of concentrated blasts of thaumic energy are shot out of the new flares and pierce through 1548 Omega-2, vaporizing it in seconds. At this point, the January 27, 2017 SCP-1548-2 prominence passes through the heliopause, encountering Seraph 1 an hour later. Contact is permanently lost. End log. Displaying file 4 out of 6. Transmission 3417-63. Begin log. SCP-3417. Loss. All neo autotans must unite at. Cannons have been moved into orbit around the planets. The extra universal invasion lessens. The gods protect us. Autotans will survive. Pause in transmission for seven minutes. Rachmo Lucian is dead. Pause in transmission for one minute. Gods lost. Loss. Universe is unprotected. Universe is not lost. Autothans are not lost. Autothans. The transmission begins displaying a sequence of spiral patterns and an encrypted image, found to show an entity resembling SCP-2821-2 when decrypted. The transmission ends. End log. Afterward. A reclassification of SCP-3417 to neutralized is pending approval. Displaying file 5 out of 6. Event 1548-35. Event Summary. On January 30th, 2017, the Foundation orbital vessel SCPS Kurtana was fully outfitted with experimental anomalous weapon and propulsion systems. It was deployed to neutralize 1548 Omega 1, which had destroyed Pluto and other Kuiper Belt objects following its entrance into the Solar System. 
The vehicle arrived at 1548 Omega One's location near Jupiter and engaged with the entity. Communication with the onboard crew was lost after 10 minutes. Footage from Foundation probes show the vehicle and entity become surrounded by a black substance and vanish. Two hours later, the substance dissipated, and the SCPS Cortana was observed to be rapidly accelerating towards Mars at near light speeds, with an organic mass resembling that of 1548 Omega-1 attached to it. In 30 minutes, the vessel reached the planet and impacted it, creating a crater 400 kilometers in radius, ionizing the atmosphere, and turning the surface into a molten mass. An hour after, the surface began to be converted into a black organic mass, which spread out from the epicenter of SCPS Cortana's impact. At this time, an SCP 1548 2 event, the largest one on record, occurred, and the solar flare reached Mars when half of its surface had been converted. A violent explosion followed, the luminosity of which matched the Sun's luminosity when viewed from Earth. The resultant debris is expected to form a second asteroid belt within the next three months. Asteroid impacts with Earth are predicted to increase. As this event occurred 10 hours ago, all related data is still under review. Displaying file 6 out of 6. Text file left by 05-3 on January 28th, 2017. Seraph 1 was only able to take a single picture of extrasolar space. And this is it. All that's left of our infinite, ever-expanding universe. Our main priority can no longer be secrecy. Thank you guys so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to my level 4 patrons, Lesby Friends, Scrubversive, and Alexis the Great. If you would like to see your name at the end of my videos, see my videos early, and get some other cool perks, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell. Link in the description.